Number six, consider the differential equation dy dx equals quantity three minus y times cosine x. Let y equal f of x be the particular solution to the differential equation with the initial condition f of zero equals one. The function f is defined for all real numbers. All right, first of all, before I even start this problem, as soon as I see a differential equation, I know in one of the parts, I'm going to have to cross multiply to solve it. So if you look at all three parts, um, you want to really figure out which one part you're going to have to do that in first and not accidentally do it early. So if I look at all three parts, um, part C does say to find the particular solution. So that's where I'm going to do my cross multiplying. So do not do it before that. All right, part A, a portion of the slope field of the differential equation is given below. Sketch the solution curve through the point zero, 01. So we need to draw the point zero, 01. And then we're just going to draw, we just want, need to make sure that the solution curve that we draw goes through that point. So I'm just going to try to draw what I see. And I can be off a little bit before that and after that I just need to be on getting there. So I'm just trying to follow whoop, the way that it's going. And it's going something like that. So we just want to make sure our solution curve looks something like that. The biggest thing, it does have to go through 0, 1. We could have had that go down steeper if we wanted to, but we pretty much just need to make sure that we follow that curve. That was worth one point. All right, number part B. Write an equation for the line tangent to the solution curve in part A at the point 0, 1. Use the equation to approximate f of point 2. So we need to find an equation of the tangent line, and we know that that's going to be y equals mx plus b. We know that m is going to be the slope at, and it's at the point um, 0, 1. So let's just cross off what we do know. We know x is 0, y is 1, and the slope is the derivative at 0, 1. So we know dy dx is equal to 3 minus y cosine x. We also know what our x and our y are. This is going to help me find the slope because this is the derivative is the slope. So we're going to have 3 minus y, which is 1, times cosine of 0. So this will be 2 times the cosine of 0 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2, so m is 2. So now I have 1 equals 2 times 0 plus b. So I'm going to get b equaling 1 on this problem. So the equation of my tangent line is going to be y equals m, which was 2x plus b. So y equals 2x plus 1 is the equation. And then it says to use that equation to approximate f of point 2. So basically all we need to do um, is plug in point 2 for my x. So we're going to have 2 times point 2 plus 1. 2 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.4 plus 1 is 1.4. So my approximation for 0 0.2 is 1.4. So this was worth 2 points. If you got the right equation of a tangent line, give yourself a point. And then if you plugged 0.2 into it and got the correct answer of 1.4, give yourself a point. All right, part C, y equals, find y equals f of x, the particular solution to the differential equation with the initial condition f of zero equals one. So here's where we're finding the particular solution. We definitely need to cross multiply. This is our big point getter. This will actually get us six points if we can get all the way through to the problem. Okay, so we've got dy dx equals three minus y cosine x, whoops, let's put it over one. Let's cross multiply, so I'm going to get dy equals 3 minus y cosine x dx. We need to get our y's on the same side, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3 minus y. So now I'm going to have dy over 3 minus y equals cosine x dx. All right, I have my same variables on the same side, so I'm ready to take the integral. On this one, since I have something in the denominator, I'm going to do a u substitution, so I'll let u equal 3 minus y which means du is going to equal negative 1. I'm missing a negative on the inside, so I'll also put a negative on the outside. And then this will create a negative du over u situation. And the integral of du over u is ln, so this is going to be negative ln of u, and u is 3 minus y, and then equals the integral of cosine is sine. It's not negative sine, just sine x plus c, of course. Do not forget that plus c. That's worth two or three points. Okay, um, next thing that I'm going to do is just multiply by negative one. So now I'm going to have ln three minus y equals negative sine x plus c. And the next thing that we do want to do is the logarithm loop. So that's what I'm going to do next. And when I do that, I'm going to get three minus y equals c e 
to the negative sign x. Don't forget we get to put that c down in front. And then from here, um, I'm going to continue to try to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 3, so I'll get negative y equals c e to the negative sine x minus 3. And then I don't want anything in front of my y, so we're going to multiply by negative 1 again. So I'll get y equals c e to the negative sine x plus 3. And now I just need to use my initial condition to find c. This would be my x and this will be my y. So I'll get 1 equals c e to the negative sine 0 plus 3. Okay, sine of 0 is 0. e to the 0 is 1. So I'm going to get 1 equals c plus 3, which was, means c must equal negative 2. So my final equation is going to be y equals negative 2 e to the negative sine x plus 3. Three. So that's my equation. All right, this whole problem was worth six points. So if you got all the way through, give yourself a plus six. But let's see where we got points from. We would get one point for separating the variables. So if we got to this step right here, we would get a point. If you properly took the, the integral of the left side, you'd get a point right here. If you took the integral of the right side, you'd get a point. If you put plus C, you get a point. If you found c, you'd get a point, and then if you were able to write the final equation self for y, you would get a point as well.